I've had enough with these absurd, ridiculous claims I've been seeing all over the, all over the internet that every religion, every single religion comes from Egypt. Every single one, okay? Well, yeah, a bunch of them do. But I've got news for you. Where did the Egyptians get theirs from? Hmm? They got it from the Sumerians, who are far older than the Egyptians ever were. They had a god called Shamash, that traveled through um, the underworld at nighttime on a little solar ship, just like Ra does, or solar chariot, same thing. And he judges the dead, then he emerges from the east in the morning and pulls that sun around the sky on that ship. And I've got something else to tell you. He has a daughter called Kitu. And guess who she personifies? Goddess of Truth. Does that sound familiar? It sounds a lot like Mott, the Egyptian goddess of truth. And guess who she's the daughter of? Ra, the sun god, just like her Sumerian counterpart is also a daughter of a sun god. It just gets better and better and better. How about Amun, the Egyptian god of the air? Plagiarized from Enlil, the Egyptian god, uh, Sumerian god of the air. And guess what? Amun's consort Amunat is his feminine form, and she's a goddess of the air. Well, Enlil has a consort too, Ninlil, feminine form, and she is also the lady of the air. And by her, he has a child called Nana, the moon god. Well, let's go to Egypt for a second. Amun has a child called Khonsu, whom is also a moon god. Very obvious similarities here. And if you don't believe me, why don't you go look up the cities called Nippur? I'll even spell it out for you. N-I-P-P-U-R. That is 5000 BC. That is... That is over a thousand years. Over a thousand years. Nearly two thousand years, actually. Before Pharaoh Navar founded the Egyptian civilization. Lots to think about there. And we can go a little over that, too. How about Eridu, the first Sumerian city? 5400 B.C. Let me spell that out for you. E-R-I... Oh, sorry. E-R-I-D-U. Eridu. Look that up, too. There's a reason why that they're just saying the Sumerians have the oldest writing in the world. It's because they do. They do. So I'm going to leave it at that. And I will be speaking so much more on this in the future. 